get soulful with it. And I'm afraid to die. That's when you go into the back back there. Because <laughs> I don't know what's up there, yeah. Beyond the sky. It's been a long, a long time coming. And I know the change gonna come. Dang it, goddammit. All right, hey. Thank you for tuning in to Luminary Sounds. It's your musical enthusiast, Francois the Great. Hey, oh, hey. Hey, and today we're sitting down and we got the pleasure. We're talking to a man that's been tearing up the TikTok scene. And now he's on Instagram as well. Y'all give it up for my man, T-Dash. Woo! Appreciate so, it. Appreciate it. Oh, no problem, my man. No problem. <laughs> So first of all, um, tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and all of that. Uh, I'm from Houston, Texas. Uh, I love to sing. Um, Hardworking man, love being with family. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm, I'm a simple guy, simple guy. Simple is good. <laughs> How are you keeping yourself busy uh, during this quarantine time? Spending a lot of time with family, way more time than I that I thought I would, but I'm I'm really enjoying it. Um, I know my kids are loving it. Uh, waking up and seeing me there. How many kids do you have? Five. Oh, nice. That's four. <laughs> yeah. Yes, five. Yeah, they really enjoyed it. They really enjoyed it. Good. That's All right, that's good. So, what part of Houston are you from? South Park. Okay. All right. I went to Texas Southern for a year on the South Side, so you know, I'm sure you're oh, familiar yeah, with that. Yeah. Shout out to TSU, yeah. Yeah. My wife, she's an alumni. Okay. All right. Yeah. The Tigers. So yes. let let so I want to get right into it as far as like when you blew up, did it start out with you blowing up on TikTok or was it like a other platform that people are not aware of like a vine or or you know etc when did it all start for you and when did you say you know what i want to actually try the social media thing well I be, yes i've been i've been singing for a while i've been singing for a while i pushed forward pushed forward at uh years ago and then as soon as i kind of like just start relaxing and just chilling with it it's all of a sudden it just happened and it, it it happened with the TikTok. It happened with the TikTok, and it wasn't planned. It just happened. That's what everybody says with uh, the whole TikTok <laughs> famous being famous on TikTok. Um, what what song was it that got famous on a uh, TikTok? Oh, uh, the country song, the Randy Travis, "Deeper Than the Holler." That went first, and then Sam Cooke. Change going to come, went second. Interesting. So what day was this? Because I know everybody remembers that day. They went from like five followers to like, <laughs> uh, 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 you know, a thousands and millions. What, what day was that for you? Was it like at night when you realized it? Did you wake up in the morning? Tell us about that story. Well, it was on July the 16th when it was, when it all happened. And this, it started this July. like yeah this july yes yes oh, wow. it, it happened wow. um later later that evening and then that mo by that morning people was uh calling and calling and calling and talking about 97.9 looking for you um so yeah it happened that like in the night time and then that morning that's crazy how did how did you feel I was like, how did your kids feel? Oh, they was excited. And then they was, they was kind of looking at me like, dad, do you know that you're famous? I was like, <laughs> oh, I, I am, <laughs> you know? And uh, I was like, I, I didn't know, no. But uh, then it started registering. It started registering. So yeah, it was, it's crazy. It's crazy. How has life changed for you since it, all this has happened so recently? It's, 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 uh, it's been busy. It's been real busy. A uh, lot of people talking, and my phone hasn't stopped ringing and blinging. And uh, it's been, it's been, it's been cool. It's been cool. Kind of cool, crazy. 
good. Wow. So you mentioned singing, right? So right now, are some of those goals still to be an artist on a label? Uh, what are some of your goals when it comes to singing? Well, I would like, I do consider myself an artist. I am an artist. Um, I'm working on an EP right now. So I've been in the studio. So for the people who's been asking, yes, I'm in the studio. I'm trying to get something out there uh, to continue to bless, bless the world, use my voice to spread that love. Do you have a, 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 a if you're going to be done or it's kind of still up in the air? Say, say that again. I said, do you have a date when the album's going to be done or is that still kind of up in the air? Uh, we, that's still processing. That's still processing. Don't have a date yet. Is there a name for the project? I haven't named it yet. I think I'm a, I'm, I'm a possibly let the fans pick it. Nice. Uh, the name for it, or I end up coming up with one. There you go. So with everything, I know you mentioned Sam Cooke, right? A change going to come. With everything that's going on right now in the world, what's something that you feel that you want to do to add on to this change or, or to create for, for the young ones that are coming up? I just, just, just remind them that we are a beautiful people and, and that we can do anything we put our minds to. We just have to put forth that effort. Uh, nothing is going to come to us just freely. You have to, you know, put forth the effort. You, you have to get up and, and work for it, you know. Definitely, definitely. So what do you also think? I know um, right now TikTok has been, has been the wave that really puts you in, in another stratosphere, but I don't know if you actually have heard of our good old President Trump making comments about planning to ban TikTok. What do you think about all of that? I, I mean, if, I, I think that's, that's going to be hard for a lot of, of the kids. The kids, they, they love, that's that, I mean, especially with the COVID stuff going on, we, we, we're quarantined, we're at the house, and these, this is how they get to express themselves, you know? Uh, I think it's going to be rough on the kids more than anything. And right now, really, everybody, because, well, like I say, we are locked down and we, we, we shut down in the house. We're spending so much time with each other. So we need things to kind of have fun with. And that's one of the, you know, the, the outlets that we have. So I think it's going to be pretty rough if we, if, we, if we do that. I've heard people joke around and say, oh, he's only going to try to ban it in the U.S. I just move out of this country and do, it, uh, do TikTok elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they say it's always, it's always more than one way to skin a cat, they say. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So just as far as I know you already mentioned you're into singing and things like that, what are some other things that people may not know that you're very big on and you're interested in that you do that the average person may not know that, that you're involved in? I, I, I'm considered like a handyman. I do pretty much everything. I work on cars. I, I cut my own hair, um, and I, I pretty much can do anything. I'm kind of like one of those jack of all trades, master of none. You know, just I, I pretty much do everything. I play. I'm basketball player. Um, that's that was my first love. Do you have uh, a favorite hobby out of all the things that you do? My favorite hobby. Mm-hmm. I, I it's still I, I still like to play ball and 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 um I mean in singing. I mean <laughs> those that was those two top things to do. Very, very cool. Very cool. So, you know, um what are some upcoming projects that you got going on right now? I know you, there's certain things you can't spill the tea on or, or spill the beans on, but but what are some things, you know, that you got going on right now? Are we gonna see you in some commercials, you know? Talk to us a little bit about some upcoming projects you have. Um, I'm open for all commercials. Um, <laughs> we, we have some discussions. We have some discussions. I can't. I can't say who. Uh, but yeah, I'm open for it all. I've even had people uh, shout out talking about doing movies. I'm, I'm open for it. I'm, I'm open for it. Um, spread my love, a in, in in every area, you know. So. Um, 
let's just have fun with it. Is there a specific message that you want to get out to your friends or that you want your fans to take away from everything that you do? Just keep pushing. Whatever your dream is, continue to push for it. Push for it. No matter what anybody says, and I'm talking about your close ones, the ones you think you're your friends, this, that, and the other, use whatever whatever you feel are, are, are deemed to be negative, try to turn it into a positive. And how awesome. would you say that you keep yourself motivated? Say that one more time. How would you, how, what's a bit of advice on how you keep yourself motivated? Just loving myself, just believing in me and loving myself first. It's kind of hard for you to kind of love and, and, and cherish other people's uh, uh, feelings and thoughts about you without you loving yourself. You have to love yourself first. I agree. Definitely. Well, T-Dash, we don't want to take up too much of your time, but before we get out of here, we were wondering if you could give us like a brief snippet of one of those TikTok clips that, you know, anyone that doesn't have TikTok can kind of like, you know, hear, hear what you do. You mind sharing some of that with us real quick? Okay, yeah, yeah. How about that? The, um, my love is deeper than the holler, stronger than the river, higher than the pine tree standing tall upon the hill. My love is purer than the snowflake in that fall, late December. You know? All right. Woo. All right. We hear you, man. Well, um, you know, definitely, you know, thanks for like checking in with us here at Luminary Sounds. If you got a YouTube, definitely uh subscribe to us, your you know, your family to us whenever you're out in the California area. We're in Los Angeles, California. Um, we also have a location in Ventura, California. Come check us out. You know, if you ever have, you know, with when the project is completed, definitely send it to us. We'll we'll, you know, definitely promote it. Uh, for you on our pages, um, you know, and uh, Kate, is there anything else that you want to add? Um, no, that's all for me. Yeah, yeah. you know, and, and um, it was a pleasure having you, my man, and, um, you know, it's your boy, Francois the Great, the musical enthusiast. And creative fanatic, Kate don't play. Appreciate Peace, y'all. Bye, you have a great day. Uh, y'all do the same. I said, Mama, you won't believe what just happened to me. I ain't gonna take your ass to Atlanta. Hey, no, hey, you, you good? You good, man?